Hi. So, I'm going to be doing something that really isn't even a big deal. Like, I know there's going to be like so many people being like, you can't do that. That's dangerous. How dare you? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? And I'm going to be like, well, yeah, I am stupid, but that's not the reason why. As you know, I have piercings. Uh, I have a lot of piercings. And for the longest time now, I really, really wanted to have my lips pierced. Like, here, in the middle. But, I'm broke. I have no money. So I'm going to do it myself. At home. DIY piercing. And you can do it too. I'm going to be piercing myself with a llama pin badge. Because why not? Let's go. Okay, I probably should go to a mirror. Nah. It's not long enough, but I can feel it on my tongue when I play around with it, so I'm going to go to the mirror. Ta-da! Pierce my lip! Woo! Ha ha! Yeah! Doesn't hurt at all! Oh, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all because my lip is already pierced by a professional. This video was a joke and if you actually think piercing yourself at home is a good idea, you are stupid and deserved, like, just like, you deserve the pain that you get from piercing yourself at home. And, uh, yeah. It might be cute, but it's not for the lips. It's too small as well. So yeah, this video was a little dumb idea that I had. I just wanted to make it look like I was piercing myself at home and then turn around and call you all dumb if you have or are going to pierce yourself at home because it is a stupid idea. Not only could you severely injure yourself, but you're not a professional and you will, it will literally look disgusting. And like, fair enough if you pierce yourself at home with a piercing needle, like, at least you're using the correct thing, but there's so many people out there that actually use piercing guns. Does one know what a piercing gun does? It doesn't go through the skin how a piercing needle would. It tears the skin. It, it, Like, if you are going to pierce yourself at home, I seriously question your mentality. Like, you got problems. Like, I used the excuse I didn't have enough money to go get myself pierced. But if you don't have the money to get yourself pierced, then you're not going to have the money to go to the hospital and be like, yeah, can you take this shit out of my ear? Because unless you're in England and you have free healthcare, you're not going to be able to afford it because a $40 piercing, which would probably be like 25 quid over here, would probably cost like a hundred plus dollars to remove. Hey. And also, why, why during this time are people still piercing themselves? This time as in that disease going around, beginning with a C. Why? Why? Like, if it gets infected or it rejects or just needs to come out and you can't be, like, you're too scared to do it yourself. Like, you're too scared to be like, just take it out and you have to go to hospital instead of being top priority you'll be at the bottom of the list because like you haven't got the virus you're not seriously ill you haven't got 
cancer. You've just got an infected person because you're dumb enough to do it yourself. If you piss yourself at home, I swear to fuck, I, <laughs> sorry, I swear, you are dumb, you are dumb, and also, I have a piercing horror story of my own, because I went to Claire's because my mum was cheap, so if you want me to tell you that, I will, but seriously, I mean it guys, mate, it's like, mate, please don't, just don't piss yourself at home. It's not worth the hassle. Just save up money, know what you want, go to professional, do your research first because like, some of these people that claim to be professionals, they're not professionals. Like, so yeah, do your research. Just like go on their Instagram page and just look at the stuff they've done. Just like, oof. Yeah, so. And plus, there are cheap piercings. Like, if you want to get your ears pierced, I think it's literally just a fiver per lobe. Right, like, that's how much it is. In my. where I get my piercings. Or if you want a helix, it's like just 20 quid. Come on. Come on. Piercings are expensive, but there are ones that are more more affordable, if that makes sense. So, like, oh, I don't have the money is not an excuse. Like, that's not an excuse. And neither is, oh, but well, what if the piercing place that I go to is closed? Wait for it to reopen. That's what I had to do. And even now it's reopened, I can't get the piercings I want because they're not doing lip piercings. I want snake bites again. And also, one more thing before I say bye. Just because you've gone to a professional doesn't mean you don't have to take care of your piercings properly. Because love, if no take care of piercing, piercing going to say no and go bye bye. It not gonna like you. Okay, so you take care of pissing. You when you get your ears pierced or whatever you're getting pierced, you can buy in the shop, yeah, a bottle of pissing lotion, which will run out before your piercing is healed. At least for me it does. But you can use salt water. If you don't know how to make it, Google it. Because I can't be asked to explain to you anymore. And if I get <laughs> any comments saying, Well, when I was this age, I pierced my own ears and by myself at home without adult supervision and it was fine. I'm now like 20 years old and like, fam, it were good, didn't it? Like, if I get any comments saying, Oh, well, I did it. And I'm fine. Good for you, whoop de doo. Like, what you want? A round of applause or something like. Just because something works out for you, don't mean it's gonna work out for someone else. Okay. Okay. You get that in your head. Like, like, is that have like, as have I broken through your thick skull? No, seriously, mates, I'm begging you. If you want a piercing, go to a professional once you've done your research. Oh, and by the way, getting your friend or a family member to pierce you still counts as doing it to yourself at home. Because they are not professionals. And even if you get... And even if your family member that you're getting it, getting them to do it, like get, uh, and even if the family member you're getting to do it is a professional, doing it at home is unprofessional, and they should get their license provoked. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Why do I keep saying things when like I've said enough? Like I should just leave. Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna go now. 
don't forget to not pierce yourself at home, loves. No, seriously, mates. If you do, I will scream. If I see anyone commenting down below that they've done it, I will make a video of me reacting to the comments and just be like, ah! you know what I mean? So yeah, I was just scared my dog. <laughs> Don't piss yourselves at home. Okay, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna go now because I'm bored and uh, I can't be asked to yell at you anymore. <laughs> anyway, by the way, this isn't a video attacking anyone. I just, I just don't like it when people do stupid things like this, mate. Okay, anyway, don't forget to stream every single song and video online that you think deserves more views because if you think it deserves more views, then it does. And don't forget to stream Elevator by Stray Kids because, oh my God, it's a good song and it deserves more views. Like, come on. And yeah, have a nice life. Or don't. I can't tell you what to do. Bye-bye.